Hello, my awesome sweet Taurus people. I missed you guys. Taurus, I hope you're doing awesome wherever you are. Taurus, you want a soulmate reading to check up on the latest energies between you and your soulmate. First, we're going to ask what's coming up for you, what you'll be dealing with, facing in your life, and how you're currently doing on your soulmate journey. Second part of this video, we're going to ask about your soulmate, whoever it is you're thinking of concentrating on while watching this video, whether you're currently in contact with them or not. First, we're going to ask how this person is doing at this time and how they are currently relating to you emotionally, what's on their mind, what they're thinking, feeling at this time, especially in relation to you, Taurus. Universe, please step in, share very clear and important messages for the sign of Taurus, for Taurus, highest good, please. Universe, please show us what's coming up for Taurus in their life, and how is Taurus currently doing on their soulmate journey? What's coming up for Taurus in their life? And how is Taurus currently doing on their soulmate journey? <clears throat> Let's see, Taurus, extra message, very important. Oh, you feel overstressed, you feel exhausted, you feel drained. But guess what? This is the best card in the whole deck. This is you getting better yeah so if you've been feeling low on energy sad depressed heartbroken or sick physically this is you getting your strength back your energy back doing the right things for yourself to get better yeah you see this is you ending some kind of difficult cycles in your life learning very important lessons balancing karmic debts you see moving on yeah good for you yeah, we all have karma to balance, right? We all here to learn lessons. This is you learning those difficult lessons and moving on with your life in the right direction with positive energy. I love it. Yeah, I never like the moon card except when the sun card is around it and near it. You are very guarded towards your soulmate. You let them go. Yeah, they don't communicate with you effectively. You view them as not communicating, not listening. You feel that you've done everything in your power to make this relationship work and you feel that it's best for you to disconnect from this relationship. They're showing up here as not communicating with you, not, hold up, they have a lot that they want to express to you because there's a blue stone in front of the throat chakra standing for communication. There's a lot that this person wants to convey to you, express to you, but They've been holding back for so long. You finally said enough is enough. You still feel connected with this person. Yeah, you still feel attached to them, but you're not giving yourself any uh, false hopes, waiting for miracles to happen. This is you moving on with your life, knowing that you've done everything in your power to make this relationship work. Universe, please show us. Hmm. A lot of you are dealing with Gemini. Leo, Pisces, Capricorn, you know, please show us what's coming up for Taurus in their life and how is Taurus currently doing on their summit journey? Yeah, my gosh, you've been through a lot of betrayal in your life in general. This is you feeling down, exhausted, unappreciated, unloved, and this is you realizing your worth value and moving on with your life, letting go of what no longer serves you for your highest good. Yeah, yeah, you see, here's the sun and the moon. Here's the sun and the moon. You see very clearly that you need to walk away from anything that's draining you, that's not balanced, that's exhausting you. You have a lot to offer in a relationship. You are a catch. This is you concentrating on yourself right now, your job, your business, your health, your emotional well-being. Yeah. You really are closing difficult cycles in your life. You really are moving on with your life in a positive direction. Yeah. Yeah. Concentrate on your job, finances, business. This is you putting your energy, effort into your work, your business, and making profit, being stable financially. Who is this person? New soulmate popping up here for you because you're not clinging to this relationship anymore because you're not 
giving yourself false hopes. Uh, you see, you're opening up uh, space for new positive energy, blessings, people, friends to enter your life. You see, new person entering your life. I love the new person's energy. King of Wands, King of Action. I love their energy. Yeah, you really are letting go of this uh, relationship that drained you. Yeah, you feel drained from that connection. Yeah, you feel absolutely drained. A lot of you are dealing with Gemini. You see Gemini over here. You see the sign of Gemini. Yeah, this person, however, wants to communicate with you. Yeah, there's a lot that they want to express to you that they've been holding back. But you feel like it's too late already. You are so turned off by this relationship. Yeah, you are so drained. I'm sorry you're going through so much, Taurus. In other words, please show us what's coming up for Taurus and how is Taurus currently doing. Yeah, you feel heartbroken. You feel betrayed. You feel unappreciated, unloved in that relationship. This is you getting your strength back picking yourself up, shaking yourself off, and moving on with your life. This is you healing, yeah. The soulmate that, again, showing up for second time as king of swords that you let go of, wants to communicate with you. But it shows that you feel betrayed by them because when you add these swords, five and two over here becomes seven of swords. Seven of swords is betrayal. So you either suspect that strongly, some kind of betrayal, on their part, or you were able to prove it. Either way, you you feel betrayed in that relationship. You feel it's time for you to move on with your life. <clears throat> yeah, you see, this is you meeting new soulmates, making new friendships. Yeah, this is you moving on with your life. Let's see what's going on with this soulmate that you let go of. In the extended reading, however, we're going to ask about both of them since they both showed up. The new soulmate, the king of once and the soulmate that you let go of that showed up twice as king of swords you know please show us what's going on currently with the soulmate of taurus that taurus let go of what's going on currently with the soulmate of taurus the king of swords that taurus let go of and how is that soulmate of taurus towards taurus at this time especially emotionally Ooh, they now recognize your worth value as a person. They view you as someone with high standards, someone who is a catch, empress energy, you see? They want to so badly communicate with you, but they're scared of your rejection. Oh, they can be very much set in their way, stubborn. Yeah, they want you back. This person wants to see you so badly. So there's definitely something toxic going on in their life. And it's in the subconscious position. Yeah, this is not a good sign. This is a sign that you walked away for valid reasons. That you should have walked away a long time ago. But you always were hoping that something would change. Uh, and things would improve. But you never saw the improvement. And you finally were so drained that you finally couldn't take it anymore. Yeah, something serious is going on in this person's life that they need to take care of, fix, work on. That has nothing to do with you. Universe, please show us hmm, what's going on currently with this soulmate of Taurus that Taurus let go of. Oh, you told them goodbye. Yeah, you were very honest, blunt, direct. You didn't sugarcoat. They want to come towards you with some kind of solid offer. They're very slow to action. They want to communicate, clear the air with you. Oh, you said something to them that hurt them very deeply, but it's because you told the truth about them that they didn't want to hear or weren't ready to hear. Either way, you needed to speak up and be honest like you were. Um, yeah, so they didn't like what you said. It hurt their ego, pride, but they agree with you. Yeah. Wow, just as they realized that they did wrong by you, that they need to correct this. Yeah, they realized they made some serious mistakes that they regret. Yeah, they do love you. Yeah, they do. <clears throat> but they don't express it for some reason. They don't show it like they should. 
Look how depressed they are over losing you. They blame themselves for losing you. This is them thinking, worrying, overanalyzing, um, thinking that you no longer love them. <clears throat> yeah, they quiet, silent, retreating in solitude, heartbroken, over losing you. All these swords are popping up here. Swords, sword again, sword, sword, and sword. So this person is worrying excessively that they lost you for good. There's something serious going on in their life that they need to figure out. Hmm. A lot of you are dealing with Aries. Universe, please show us what's going on currently with this soulmate of Taurus. No, this is not good. This is not good. The devil showing up twice. That's not good. That's not a good sign. There's something serious going on in their life that they need to learn lessons from before they can change their situation to a healthy one. They love you a lot. That's for sure. They do love you a lot. They feel obsessed with you. It's like they can't stop thinking of you. They are in a relationship with somebody else. Whether the ex is trying to come back or it's some kind of toxic uh, karmic connection, whatever it is, uh, they're not happy in it whatsoever. It's a toxic connection that they're in, that they can't seem to separate themselves from, but need to. They, in order for them to let go of that toxic, miserable relationship that they're not happy in, uh, they need to learn first lessons uh, before they can let go. Okay, so there's a lot that they need to do, a lot of inner work, soul searching to do. Yeah, this person is scared of failing in commitments. You see, this person needs to learn how to let go of the past, how to forgive, how to not live in the past. Because this emotional baggage they're holding on to is really affecting their connection with you and other people as well. Yeah. <clears throat> Taurus, we're going to go into your extended reading. We're going to ask about this person, but also new soulmate that's entering your life that showed up. As king of wands. First, we're going to ask about this soulmate's true, genuine, long-term intentions and plans for you. What are they planning long-term? Then we're going to ask what they're currently hiding from you, what they have up their sleeve, whether they're hiding it on purpose or can communicate for whatever reason, but the universe feels you need to be aware of for your highest good. And of course, at the end, we're going to ask advice for you on how to best handle this soulmate connection at this time and anything else you need to know about your life, including new soulmate entering your life, king of wands energy, new chapters, new beginnings in your life, also your health, finances, business, job opportunities, family matters, friendships, whatever it is you need to know, they'll show it at the end of the reading as well. So Taurus, click on the extended link below this video in the description box below, and I'll see you there. Love you guys.